Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Riot here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the Battle Arena, as there's only one more day to go for the season to end. And so, of course, we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks that you can take into the next season, and we, as a community, can use to be able to get into the higher ranks. So, of course, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more Don Machi and Don Machi Battle Chronicle content and let me know in the comment section down below how are you guys faring this season where do you guys plan on finishing this season of course I know some of you guys are using Selas to get into the higher ranks to get into Diamond in particular so let me know in the comments where you guys are looking to finish now for me personally I think I'm probably gonna end up in Platinum I feel like I've lost too many matches and I'm not planning on using any Selas whatsoever in order to get higher. And I'll explain why in just a moment. But before we get into all of that, of course, like I said, as you can see at the very bottom of your screens, the time below is the time the season ends. And it's based on your time zone. So if you look into the game and you, you know, log into the game, go into Arena and you check these times, it should show you the time it ends in your time zone. So for me, it ends at 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. For you in America, probably on the East Coast, it would be around 11 a.m. If you're on the Pacific Coast uh, or you're living in the Pacific time zone, it'll be around 8 a.m. basically. If you're living in Asia, it'll be around 8 onwards basically, 8 p.m. onwards. So, of course, like I said, if you're living in America, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. should be the time zone where, uh, you know, the season will end. If you're living in Europe, it'll be somewhere between like 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. If you're in Asia, depending on where you're at in Asia, it'll probably be like 7 p.m. onwards, I would say. So keep that in mind. The season ending will be tomorrow. And of course, you will know the time if you just log in, go into the arena and check the time at the very bottom of your screen. So keep that in mind, of course, if you want to make sure that you are using up your tickets on time, of course, right? Because remember, I know the tickets take up to five hours to restore one ticket per five hours. It's very, very slow, but there will be obviously at least another what? Three to four tickets. I think right now it's 5 p.m. for me right now in my time zone. So I have about 23 hours. I can get another four tickets basically to restore in that uh, time frame basically. So I want to try and maximize and get those tickets used up so that I can at least try and get into Platinum 2 or Platinum 1 even maybe. I don't think I can get into Platinum 1. I think the points gap is a little bit too high. Currently I'm at 12.33. I would need another... 200 and 217 points so that means i would need at least six to seven tickets so yeah platinum one is out of the question for me because i'm not planning on using selas now remember if you get a perfect win in battle arena the maximum points you can get is 30 so i'm only going to be able to get in five tickets 150 points so i'm going to be positive and be happy with my platinum too i'll be very very happy with my platinum too of course the dream would have been to end up in diamond where i think most players should try and end up in to be quite honest so that you can get these almighty bonds right of course if you get 10 of these bonds that is a free dupe for any character a free awakening for any character right so of course the aim is to try and end up in diamond but i did the math right right now i have 55 matches done another four matches in excluding the ticket that i have so five more matches in total right i can do five more matches in total a player should be able to do at least 60 matches in a season right 60 matches in a season is effectively 60 times 30 1800 points so you should be able to get into diamond provided you get the perfect match wins right perfect match wins so you need to beat the enemy within 30 seconds so there's three minutes in a match right in a battle arena match you have to fight the enemy in three minutes but the more time you take the less points you get basically so you want to try and finish the match in 30 seconds uh because if you go less than two minutes and 30 well you start losing points basically and then if you lose a team member you also lose points basically so you need perfect matches in order to get into diamond basically so that is also a little bit of an issue for sure right of course right uh but there are ways we can avoid that in the next season if you guys just listen to me and share this video amongst your friends and familiar members and i'll tell you that in just a moment but yeah for me personally i don't think diamond is happening now one thing to note when you go into a match and this is the advantage that i feel battle arena has over magic stone scramble is that it's very predictable because you can see the enemies you're facing 
right in front of you, right? So for example, I'm going up against uh, this Canis guy, right? 24,890 point uh, combat power he has. He's got a team of Tiona, Cassandra, and Finn. Now, I know Finn is on the right-hand side, right? And I know that the way the game works is that it sets it up in lanes, sort of, right? So your top lane is your leftmost unit, your middle lane is your middle unit, and your bottom lane is your rightmost unit. So because I know in the top right, as you can see, I'm going to be going up against Finn. I'm going to be switching around Finn, uh, Lafia and Aisha so that Lafia can take on Finn and there's type advantage happening over there. So I'm going to take advantage of that and we're going to go into battle and you'll see what I mean. Now, unfortunately, I will say this, Lafia, while a fantastic and very, very powerful unit, ranged units in battle arena i feel like are at a little bit of a disadvantage i feel i feel like melee units are a little bit better in battle arena from what i've seen and from what i've uh, looked at to be quite honest but that doesn't change the fact that they're still very much usable and still very 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 strong so keep that in mind and make sure you guys try and take advantage of of course the units that you have and the units that you're you you are using for your fights right um of course as you can see we are absolutely dominating canis so we're absolutely fine um and we are able to take him down very very easily right so there is a easy victory for us which is absolutely brilliant i uh easy victory here cassandra goes down and we win now unfortunately we didn't beat it in under 30 seconds so unfortunately we're gonna get 28 points here yep there you guys go so as you can see we got 28 points we are in platinum 2 which is great because we are getting the first rank rewards now as well for platinum 2 which is fantastic that's gonna give me more selas and and we're gonna get more brave coins as well and some memory exilia which is perfect uh, unfortunately, from what I understand and from what I gather, the first rank rewards are only received once. And I don't think that they refresh every season. So that is really, really unfortunate because I would have loved to see these refresh, you know. Every season, the first time you get into these ranks, it, you know, you get these rewards. It would be truly, truly amazing. I hope, I hope that they change it and they allow us to keep uh, refreshing this. But yeah, as it says at the very bottom, you will receive this reward only once and it will be sent to your gift box when you reach the appropriate rank for the first time after starting the game. It doesn't say after every season. So yeah, it does seem like these first rank rewards are a once only thing and I wish they would change it so that you earn it every season so that it's a good gem income in all honesty. It's a good way of get generating gen gem income and that way a lot of people can easily get Selas without any issues and this whole issue of no gem income is removed entirely right i think that would be a great way to do it um unfortunately it does seem like it's a once only thing so you got we've got to take what we can get and we have to move on from there right unfortunately that is how it works now like i said at the start of this video there is a way where we as a community can get a higher rank without any issues now the thing I noticed, right, in this in this season of uh, Battle Arena, and I feel like not a lot of players have noticed it, and I feel like a lot of players should start to notice it and should start to employ this, especially if you are Diamond or Under and you're not aiming to get into Hero, is to set up a weaker defense. And you might be wondering, Gail, what do you mean by set up a weaker defense, right? So if you go over here on the left-hand side and you look at the button below Exchange, it's set up, right? As you can see, this is my team that I'm using in terms of the offense, right? This is my offensive team. My defensive team is this. I've just got one unit in my defense. The thing is, right, what I've noticed in Battle Arena is that there is no penalty for having a weaker defense unless you're in hero and the only reason why it's a penalty in hero is because in hero you need to be in the top 1000 in order to basically get hero basically the top 1000 ranks so you need to be able to have enough points to be over in this top 1000 ranking positions that is here basically right so you need to be above like 4000 points and stuff like that so it makes sense that Okay, in those ranks, you need to set up a very solid defense so that players don't beat your team and jump over you in the rankings, right? So it makes sense in that situation to have a good defense. But if you're master or under and you're not interested in getting in hero, right? If you're master or you're under the master ranking, why not set one unit in your defense? L like, come on, guys. We are a community. We all need to get as much Selas as possible. Let people get perfect wins. Set up one unit in your defense 
and let people win. I've said this defense for like four or five days. Somebody in the official Discord actually pinged me asking me like, is this your team actually? And I'm like, yeah, because I want people to get wins. I don't want people to go without wins. You know, there is no penalty for me to set up a weaker defense. I'm not losing points. I'm still in Platinum 2. I haven't lost points since the, the start of Battle Arena. So why not just set up a weaker defense so that people can get free wins and everybody can get into Diamond very, very easily. And this goes for anybody, especially because, remember guys, not everybody has the time to play this game, nor does everybody want to spend their Selahs, their hard-earned Selahs on refreshes. Remember, the rewards in Battle Arena are quite low for how many refreshes you get, right? Like, I'm, we're going to only get 300 Selahs for reaching Platinum and 400 Selahs for reaching Diamond. I would have to do, if I even if I got a perfect run, right? Okay, let's say I didn't get a perfect run and I was, say, 60 points, 70 points away from uh, getting into Diamond, right? I would have to do two refreshes to basically get into Diamond and I would get the same Selah's rewards as Platinum then because for each refresh, you need to spend 50 Selah's. Like, come on, guys. Is that... We're not doing that. <laughs> Are we really going to do that? No. I know that a lot of people think that this Almighty Bond is worth it. But remember, each season of Battle Arena is 10 days long. Look at that top uh, on the top of your screens. The period was from the 23rd of September... Or, sorry, 23rd of August to the 3rd of September. That's 10 days. Each season is going to be 10 days. So that means you're not going to be able to get a Almighty Bond until like the 6th or 7th week. Because of course, you're also going to have the Magic Stone Scramble rewards coming in. But Magic Stone Scramble is a month-long event. Like even if you get Diamond here, right? It'll take you a month to get that one Diamond. Uh, one Almighty Bond, uh, you know, Almighty Bond Rainbow. So... Lads, 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 lads. Let's make it all easier for everybody. Set up a weaker defense in the next season if you guys can. And share this with your friends and familiar members and everywhere on Twitter, Discord, wherever it may be. This is a trick that we all need to employ as a community in order to get diamond very easily for everybody. Because if we all get perfect wins, we all can end up in diamond very easily. And we can, in fact, try and get the... To a top reward at least potentially that we can if we don't refresh our you know arena tickets at all let us all try and get to diamond 3 by setting up weaker defenses it is an advantage that the game is giving us we're just not using it i've only seen in my run so far right and the only reason even i found out about it was because i saw somebody having only one unit in their team and i was like hang on a second is there actually any sort of like reason for us to not have one unit in our team like is there really no reason for us to you know set up a weaker defense and there is no reason there's no reason for us not to set up a weaker defense sorry is what i mean to say there's absolutely no reason for us not to set up a weaker defense we don't lose points we're not losing out on anything all we're doing is just helping one another as a community and that is more important than anything else in all honesty so the best way to do it and of course if you are finding it difficult to set up a weaker defense what you need to do is set up two parties right set up two parties and set this up as your defense so as you can see it says a setting up a defense party and you can see in the top left it has a shield icon so when you set up your defense you can set it up as the defense right now and then when you go into a fight all you need to do is go to the right and you can choose your main attacking party and then you're good to go that's all you need to do and that way you're going to be able to help not only just your familiar members and friends but the community as a whole and i think that's way more important i'm going to be employing that i don't know if you guys will to be quite honest i would urge you guys to do so it would be amazing if everybody could do this and endeavor to do this because honestly it'll just make everybody's lives so much easier come the next season but yeah let me know what you guys think. Again, this was a tip I wanted to give you guys along with some other tips and tricks as well regarding the top, middle, and bottom lanes, of course, right? Um, remember that Battle Arena is one of these game modes where you can take advantage of what the game is giving you in terms of its game mode, right? You can see the enemies very easily. You can set up weaker defenses without any penalty. And it 
it should be possible for everybody to reach diamond without any issues so yeah make sure you guys share this on discord twitter wherever you may want to of course like i said it would be truly truly amazing if we could as a community get this out to people of course right thank you guys all so much for watching of course if you guys went on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more don machi and don machi battle chronicle content and let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think of this idea do you guys think it's employable or not I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.